Hello everybody, welcome back to a tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to create the index view, no, actually the create view. So remember in our last tutorial we created the posts which is the index and if we can click on add new post it just gives us a create.blade.php so we are going to fix that. So we're going to go into Laravel 4 here and we're going to make sure everything's saved then we're going to go into our create blade. Now in this file, we're just going to say, we're, again, we're going to extend the master page. So it extends layouts.master. And then we're going to say at section content. And then we're going to continue to do that. And then we're going to say at section st at stop. Now we'll enter our section. So here we're going to just say create post. And then we're going to open our form. So form open. And here we're going to have an array. Actually, let's spell open right before we get an error here. And here we're going to have an array. Inside that array, we're going to direct it to a route. And that route is going to be tweets.store or actually posts.store, my bad. So posts.store. And that's enough of that. Next we're going to create a UL. And inside that on order list, we're going to have three list items. So we can say li times three using Emmet and get three list items. And our first list item, we're going to have a form label. Actually, we're going to need four of these, but we can do that later. And it's going to be for our author. And then it's going to have author. And that's going to be it. And next list item, actually, below this, we're going to have our text field. So, for our text field for our author, form text, and it's simply going to be author. I'm not going to apply any styling to it or anything else like that. After that, we're going to have an, in this next list item, we're going to have form, go ahead and move this down, and move this down. We'll form label and this is going to be for the title and then title. Let's go ahead and capitalize that so it's the same. And next we're going to have form text and it's going to be for the title. Okay. In our next list item, we're going to have form label, and this is going to be for the body. So form label for the body. And it's going to say body. And make sure these are the three values here: body, title, author. And that's right. Don't want to mess that up. And next, we're going to need another list item for our submit button. So, form submit, and it's simply going to say submit array. And we're just going to add a class of button since we're still using Bootstrap. And we're going to say button success. I think that's how you spell it. After this trailing UL, you want to say just form close. So form close. And next, if there's any errors, 
like any validation errors we're going to post those validation errors so if errors any if there are any errors create one word list and we're gonna we've done this before so implode we got null I'm gonna say errors all I'm gonna say la class equals error and we're just going to say echo the message so message and close our list item and that's that after that we need to go ahead and end the s so at end if save it and let's go out and see if we can there we go and we don't have a body because we didn't add the body like an idiot so let's go back in here form text area and it's gonna say body save it now go back out refresh and there we go so I did something wrong here. Let's change that button to something else. So button, say button info. What does that do for us? This is another little button here. It's another little submit button. Try to type submit. What does it do? It did nothing. So let's delete this. And we already had our icon. You see how we can actually submit an author. So let's say Darth Vader, Star Wars. Good book. Submit. And here we have our author, Darth Vader, title, Star Wars, body, a good book. We have we cannot show or edit it yet, but we can delete it. So delete it, and there we go. So in the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and create our uh, edit view, and then we'll create our show view, and then we'll be almost done. So stay tuned for the next tutorial.